Hello everybody, this is Havoc. Welcome to part 15 of our Total War Tilla Ostru Goths campaign. Pick it up uh, where we last left off. Uh, it wasn't pretty, it's pretty uneventful until we got to the uh, epic bloody siege at Sopiane against the Quadians. Um, at the very end they got routed and I'm actually going to go ahead and start right off the bat with taking them out. We will fight it. Simple as that. I'm feeling really decisive right now, so we're just gonna roll with it. They obviously have a very, very small gear or small army to fight against our vastly, completely replenished giants. Uh, rain, I don't like rain. I'm not gonna do it. We're gonna do dry. So they're over there, right? We're over here. Words of wisdom from Havoc. All of these guys are going to stick together. Same here, same here, same here. General's over there. Start the battle. We're going to go ahead and move around here. I'm telling you guys, I'm feeling decisive. We're going to move over here. I'm actually going to drop these guys right over the side. Where are their reinforcements at? Oh, brilliant. You know what we're going to do then? We're going to hide in here. We're going to hide right there. The enemy has been sighted. You're going to come over there. We're going to swoop around there. Bring it, fools. Actually, I'll go here. And I'll drop those guys. Of course they do. Of course they do. We're actually going to go right over that way. Those guys have more troops per se. We're just going to charge straight into that general's unit. Split off a band and go here. Split off another band freak out their infantry. Bring it, son. The enemy is attacking our general. You are dead. These guys should rout. I'm actually going to bring a unit over there just in case they don't. Yeah, they're getting wrecked pretty hard. There we go. There we go. Get out of there. Uh, let's get those archers over here. You're going to come after those guys. We are leaving none alive, by the way. There ain't no way that's happening. The enemy are us. No, they're not. They don't even know what an ambush is. Fifty percent speed. Uh, let's actually go flaming shot for those guys. We're gonna get that guy on them. You can go here. We're gonna kill their general. Germanic nobles, you're gonna come assist over here at the spear masters. Awesome. Piece of cake, man. So we're going to suck these guys, these uh, Germanic nobles, in in just a second. I'm actually going to slip a dude over here. You're going to stop. You're going to come over here. Go right there. I'm going to bring you guys in. 
You're going to come right over there. We're actually going to bring our general up because I know that's who he's attacking. You're going to go after these Germanic nobles. You're going to go after those guys. <coughs> I'm actually going to make you stop. And then you're going to plunge in from the back and that'll be the end of the game. No siree. Super fast forward time. The day is yours. How many we'd lose? A little under 200. We're just gonna kill them all there. In the battle. Piece of cake. 169. Only two men were left. Flanking with the cab is always the best option. We're actually just going to kill their units. I don't need them. And we are going to move up to their capital. And we're going to probably just sack it. Now, what we're also trying to do is uh, we're waiting on the Huns to take out Ceremium. Uh, we will use our units then, and we will push and take Ceremium uh, with whatever is left over. And we're going to do the same thing, essentially, across this hole. So we're hoping that the Huns will sweep all the way across Greece and we will just pick up the scraps, which I'm absolutely more than willing to do. Uh, Caledonians. Let's get a peace tree. No. Who else am I at war with? Judea. I can't do anything about them. Actually, I can. Oh, that's rude. Um, Daisy, I don't want to do Quadians, the Marco Mans. Welcome. They only have one settlement left. Visigoths, the Caledonians, and the Picts. My time Picts is don't like me either. Okay, so we'll just camp here. I have no issues with staying here. Yes. Uh, we're gonna try and assassinate. I can't assassinate. Guys, I think we're done. I think we've pretty much done everything we can do. That's right, we got that bird going. Need to work on getting my torps as well. Let's end that turn. Sopiane, we need to work on their public order as well. But I don't think it'll be that big of a deal. Do what you want to do. That's fantastic. Just continue on. There we go. I really do want to do my best not to raise settlements. Rather just sack them and let whatever happens, happens. Even if they don't lose the settlement, I would rather just sack it than have to deal with it. Because I don't want to have to go back and uh, drop a ton of money and half my troops just to retake a settlement. Not worth it. I might try and make the Quadians my client state. If I can get to that point. If I'm to that point by the end of the episode, uh, go ahead and leave a comment down below on whether or not you think I should take the Quadians as a client state. I think they would be decently good ones. But I don't know for sure. Hostile agent activity was a success. Misdirect workforce, faction destroyed. Agents exposed, foreign trespassers. The Sassanids and the Himyar have declared war on each other. Africa and Judea have declared war. We have rebuilt a ruined building, uh, which I might just do a chieftain's house. I know we already have a chieftain's house, but it just makes sense. We may actually do a Latin baptistry, but that's a lot of money. It's all a lot of money. That's dumb. 
Okay. We're gonna besiege this. Um, is it even worth it? It's gonna be a tiny settlement. You know what? Well, no, that's still a lot. There's gonna be, what, three or four towers. Let's do a night attack. Always wanted to do a night attack. Whenever I get the opportunity, I just instinctively hit attack. Battle of Nitrawa. They have a small garrison. Shouldn't be too bad of a battle. Fog. I don't want that. Don't want fog. Snow. And snow. Looks like we got snow. Does everyone have a little torch? Ooh, everyone's hiding. We are crouched. Siege engines. We're going to come in from their backside. Gives us the most strategic advantage. We're going to move our horsemen through. Uh, we will actually go flaming shot. All the same standards. We're going to move up through the woods. Let's take out the watchtower. Oh, that's epic. The enemy has been sighted. I want to try and get a good screenshot here. Come on, launch those babies again. It's just cool looking in the snow. They're going to come out and come after me. That's awesome. The enemy's tower has been destroyed. Damn. Our ambush troops have been detected. Ah. Go after them then. Uh, you guys go here. You guys go here. Uh, you guys go after the Germanic warband. Kill them, good. Let's see, wait for them to reload and fire again. That still looks pretty cool. No, they're not. Don't even try to pull that stuff on me. Go here then. They're taking fire. Focus on the archers. We'll go there. Um, you know what, let's go ahead and throw up my infantry, the ones that can do stuff. Go here, and I'm actually going to go ahead and reinforce the backside of those archers. Uh, let's bust down the walls. Let's get that barricade taken care of. And we're actually going to move our troops up here. You're going to fire on those Germanic Hunters. Let's move these guys up there. Take those guys out. We need those archers taken care of. Cut them down. Let's 
surely aren't any towers anywhere. Nope. Cut those guys down. The enemy have rallied their units. Good for them. Go after them, boys. Go after them. Well, believe me, once these guys are able to get their shots in, this will be a whole different ball game. Amazing. Throw it. Yeah, we got hit. Yeah, you're gonna. Yeah, you just killed a whole bunch of your own guys. Kill those guys. We're gonna bring our axemen in. They're getting wrecked, though. They won't last very long. And then we'll bring our archers in. Or not, because once this guy's dead, once this guy routes, that's the end of the battle. We're going to go and end it right there. We only lost 84. 84. There we go. Um, sacking it. We could loot and occupy. I'm going to do that only because um, what I want to do. Ooh, livestock herd. I want to get down to Kasurgis. What are what are their traits? What are these guys' traits? The Quadians are aggressive and temperamental. Hmm. We might still take them over. Are you brave or foolish? I like how it's a woman. Mad. Well, speak. That was a very deep-voiced woman. Septimania. They like Hail. us. As requested, I give ear to your just and undoubtedly noble request. Oh, undoubtedly. Um, let's your go. Would be a thousand. Awesome. Let's see, who else has a nice attitude towards me? Anyone who has Caucasian separatists? Greetings, friend. Let us you The Angles. Greetings. Now speak plainly. No. Okay, that's fine. I don't care. So yeah, our plan is to then get up to Kasurgis, and I think these guys actually have immune to snow attrition. They do. We have immunity to snow attrition. That's awesome. Uh, let's go hunters, ammunition, and then dreaded reavers, plus two integrity when raiding, raiding income plus 12%. These guys can all upgrade. I'm going to upgrade them to horse breeding one. And uh, we will keep these guys alive. Uh, what happened over here? How can I? Still being besieged? You are still being besieged. Um, one of the key things... Yeah, it looks like we're going to get... Two of them. We won't get... A military alliance there. What we need here is we're almost got Pannonia. Once we get Sirmium, we'll get Pannonia. And then these three settlements will get us Dardania. We need to control 30 settlements... We need to have 30,000 in wealth. We have way more than 60 units. So that's our goal. Uh, let's go a couple more guys there. Couple dudes there. Same here. And I know you need help. Come, fight for us, lads. 
you have a full roster. And you can get something interesting. We should do a town center. Yeah, and then we can get all these good things. That's what we need, a town center. Hooah. All right, I think we are pretty safe to end the turn. And let's see what happens. Caledonians, that's what I meant to do. I get meant to get my spy on them. Come on, guys, just take Dacia, please. What's going on, people? Come on. Oh, Judea. Ooh, movie. Darkness and despair. The shadow chased the sun ever southward. And behold a pale horse. And his name that sat on him was Death, and Hell followed with him. His wrath would engulf the world, and he delighted in watching it burn. The Horde looked to Attila, and the world trembled. Abandon all hope. Hostile agent activity. Attila, he was indeed a lover of war, yet restrained in action. Mighty in council, gracious supplicants, and lenient to those under his protection. With the death of the previous warlord, Attila seized power. Now he leads the hordes, and their armies swell in number. Object to complete two out of four. Terms of office. Wow, there's a lot of stuff that happened. Chapter 3, Devastation, Abandon All Hope. Let's get down to it. Climate change, basically things are moving south. Yada, yada, yada. These guys haven't taken anything. You know what, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to raid this thing. Now how do we get less income? from raiding. Take everything. I'll take part in this. That'll help solidify. It'll help solidify my uh, whatever it is, my allegiance with the Huns. I don't mind if these guys come out. Again, my goal is to take Kasurgis. So, whenever we um can make them a client state, we then might come down. What I might do is take Sergus, come down, take U of Ave excuse me, U of Avum, and make both of those guys our client states. Unreliable and rebellious. Okay, so Marco Mans will not be will not be client stated. They will be killed, I'm feeling. You're gonna assassinate you. Success. Brilliant. Brilliant. That guy's got it on the move. 
to be honest, we really need to work on these guys. Torps. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. If we can take Sermium, I know that will help us a lot. You. Uh, we're going to misdirect this army. Oh, we can't. Lame. Uh, let's go ahead and build a torp. Can't do much there. Can't do much there. Uh, let's just dismantle this stuff. No, I don't want to abandon it. That's a town. It would be my town. I'll still wait. We're going to end the turn again just real quick and see what happens. Because Nitrawa is now facing some pretty severe, severe issues. But that's alright. See what everybody does. Be interesting to see what the Huns do now that Attila's underneath them. Or I guess above them. Yes, we will help. Uh, I will offer a protective stance. Very nice. Very nice. We only lost 24 total. Uh, I'll just kill their captives. And they raise it. I was hoping they wouldn't raise it, but that's okay. I was hoping they would have just sacked it. But, such is the way of the Huns. Not a whole lot we can do about it. Aside from get a little bonus in our relationship with them since we engaged in the battle. Alright, Huns, what else you got up your sleeve? Are we stuck? Oh, they raised that settlement too. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Dang, they are wrecking Dacia. We gotta move quick. Gotta move quick. Duty calls the Bear Sons. Uh, Lord. Dignity. Relentless attacker. Natural causes. Rebellion imminent. Mission issued. Uh, we need to fight the dark tides. We can't see them, I guess. We demolished all of those things. We developed family workshops. Wealth plus five from industry. Okay. So we're going to go down here. Sanitation plus two across the board. I don't want to do that just yet because... I need to go here first. Um, huh. I guess we'll raise. That's weird that we didn't get a chance to sack or loot them or anything. Oh well. Uh, let's go here. I would take 6,360 and 6,660 men. Uh, looks like we're still going to raid it. Okay. We're going to move down. Is there nothing else? And... We need... 
somewhere to go. We can do this. Recruitment costs. So plus five cultural. Wealth plus five from agricultural. Uh, these guys, I'm just going to let them get whatever they want to do to it. Uh, looks like Daisy is going to get wrecked pretty hard. Maybe they'll go work on the Visigoths. Maybe, maybe. How can I help? So, guys, I guess that will actually kind of end the part. I will need to take this, which I'll get it hopefully in a couple of turns. We're going to bump up everyone because we have to. I mean, we just have to. Pannonia is going to be pissed. But that's alright. And they'll be kind of upset too, but we'll work on them. So, guys, uh, we will let Nitrawa. That's what we'll do. We'll go over here in Uvavum. We're going to let these guys rebel. And um, we'll take them over and hopefully be able to make them a client state. Hopefully, make these guys a client state. And then we're actually going to work on hopefully they'll take uh, Viminaxium. And I can get that started so we can start taking them on. Otherwise, they'll be pretty screwed anyways. I do think our relationship has bumped up with the Huns a bit. My friends, be welcome. The ancestors smile upon Can I get a defensive alliance? Let's arrange a marriage. Let's offer Frida. What if I offered Hunillo? What if I offered uh, Frido and I gave you 860. I'm just trying to do things. If I can intertwine our... No, that's not what I wanted. Offer payment. There we go. That solidifies it even more. My friend, be welcome. Oh, come on, bud. I will. You honor us. There is food enough for two armies awaiting us when we have talked. Awesome. Yeah, we're really going to improve with them. Let us break bread and drink before words pass our lips. Oh well, we'll work on them. But get our families intertwined and then it'll be kind of hard for them to to break any kind of a uh, agreement with us. E essentially. So yes, this will be the end of the part. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up if you haven't already hit that subscribe button. Laid out my plans. You guys will see it come into effect next turn. Hopefully. And uh, yeah, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. Again, thank you for watching. This is Havoc, and I am out of here. Peace.